Hey, well, Broken World Entertainment. And The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, has come out and publicly said that former Warner Brothers CEO and Sarnoff and that other jackass, whatever his name was, were always pushing against the return of Henry Cavill as Superman. The dumbest company in the world with the dumbest leadership in the world and they prove it here because every single person that has watched any of those movies regardless of whether you thought the movies were good or bad everyone wanted Cavill back and this dumb bint Anne Sarnoff did everything in her power to make sure they never brought him back now Cavill was constantly asked you know, are you coming back? And he was obviously never given an answer as to whether or not he was still going to be a part of DC or not. Because he always responded with saying, the cape is still in the closet. That was always his response. So, as we know now, this is a spoiler alert if you don't know and you don't want to know, but it's pretty much out there. You must be living under a rock if you don't know. But Superman, Henry Cavill, is the post credit scene in Black Adam. We now also have reports that he has possibly filmed a cameo in The Flash. And possibly something else. But the big news is... Apparently, Zasloff has told him he wants a Man of Steel 2 in production. Sounds like we may have officially been given the green light to a brand new Superman movie with Henry Cavill. Only took them 10 goddamn years. <laughs> it was 2013 when Man of Steel came out. But here we are, 2022. It will be 2023. Probably 2024. By the time Man of Steel 2 comes out. But Zaslav apparently has put the foot down and says he wants more Superman. Him to be more uh, central to the whole DC uh, universe. And he wants that to begin with a Superman movie. A standalone Superman, Man of Steel 2. So that's pretty good news. To be honest, I'm one of the few that actually really like Man of Steel. I thought that was a great introduction to a new Superman. And I really like the way they played on the fact that, yes, he is an alien. <laughs> and they really played on that. You know, BVS... You know, I went to the cinema to see that and walked out kind of going, ugh, it was a mixed bag. You know, there were good parts and there wasn't. Yes, of course, the extended edition is a much more solid movie. Makes a lot more sense. Everything with Superman makes a lot more sense. You know, Joss Whedon's version of Justice League, throw that away. But Zack Snyder's Justice League, that four-hour cut, the Snyder cut, it, it's fantastic. I don't care what anyone says. That thing is fantastic. And Henry Cavill as Superman and that was great. Black suit? Yeah, come on. Definitely want the Man of Steel too. This doesn't say they're going to absolutely restore the Snyderverse. You can bring those characters in, but you can obviously change things. Because we've all wanted to see Henry Cavill's Superman become more like the Donner. Superman, the Richard Donner version, the more optimistic and hopeful kind of Superman. Not that Henry Cavill's not that kind of version. He's more grounded at the moment. But there's definitely that room to breach him out into that. But time will tell. Hopefully now we do get 100% confirmation from WB and Cavill himself that Man of Steel 2 is happening. But The Rock has really 
pushed for. He wants Black Adam to face off against Henry Cavill's Superman. You know, we've known that since the day The Rock was cast as Black Adam. So, let's hope. You know, it's going to be great to see him back in Black Adam for however long the cameo is. I'm still up in the air whether or not to want to go and see. I definitely want to see Michael Keaton back as Batman. I just don't want to see Ezra Miller. I don't want to reward him with my money for a ticket. But I'll have to wait and see what happens with them. But anyway, Henry Cavill back as Superman. Finally. Finally. It's about time. And with that, I'll leave it there for this one. Cheers. Catch you in the next one.